Hello, I'm Squirrel. And I'm Rumble. And we are Cats, Snacks, and Video Games. And today we're trying something new. We are. We're going to show off the latest games that we have added to our collection the past month. Um, we do a lot of um, game hunting and we actually haven't shown any of that so far. Uh, so we thought this would be a good time to start. Yeah, I mean, I think it's since probably our Japan haul. That would be the last time we really showed probably, anything. Probably, yeah. Japan shorts. Yeah. yeah, so this should be fun. Let's go. Okay. Do you want to start? I can start. Uh, this one was uh, one that we picked up actually at a GameStop. And funny enough, it was hiding in the drawers back behind the checkout counter. And I just happened to see it when she was opening up the counter. I went, whoa, 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 or the counter, the drawer. But I was like, hold on, that game is not out there. And this is the one that we got for a pretty good deal. So Mario Party 10. I do love the Mario Party games, but we don't have a lot of them because they tend to kind of get rare and expensive. Mm -hmm. I think the only one that we do have right now is Mario Party 2 on the N64. And it's the Japanese version. And so I thought this would be a really fun one for our collection. Yeah. And any anytime you find Wii U, especially at GameStop, you should definitely uh, consider picking that up. Yeah, of course. Cool. What do you um, got? So first one I have is a, as we know, we've been trying to branch out a little bit on uh, PlayStation 4 and uh, start really collecting on that. So this is a, a PlayStation exclusive. Uh, we were looking for this one for quite a while because we just kept getting the greatest hits. Um, and we don't really collect the greatest hits, but um, we did come across uh, Bloodborne, which I have not played this, but um, people say that this is kind of the the hardest and uh, the best uh, Souls-like game. Um, and we got it. <clears throat> it's not, well, sort of complete, I guess. It has a little advertisement here, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we finally added this to our collection. Awesome. And I, I always am a fan of the From Software games, so I think that's cool. Um, next up is, um, this is a series that I love, and I am trying to collect most of these games. And they can run on the more expensive side. However, this one was pretty affordable. It is Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. And I have not played this one. I think it would be really fun too. So I really love Tales of Symphonia. I love a lot of the Tales games, but this is one I haven't played. It is, I, it's on the Wii. I want to say it's actually exclusive on the Wii, but it might be on other consoles possibly. But I thought this would be a really fun one to own on the Wii. It's a, it's a console that we collect for. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, and there's so many, uh, you know, Tales games too that are available on different consoles. So it's mm -hmm. hard to keep track of them. But yeah, I think we we're getting up there now in the collection yeah. there of. Uh, different ones so that's cool um all right next i'm continuing on in the playstation 4 uh this is the sequel to another um exclusive game on the ps4 um and that is neo 2 uh, so we got the first one uh, a few years back uh, i think we even found it sealed just uh in a random store um so now we have both of these I have not played them i think this is also a uh, Souls-like game, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, again, heard really good things about this, and I really need to get into playing some PlayStation Four games because uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, lagging behind. <laughs> that's okay. Let's see. Next stop is another series that I do love to collect. For we do have most of the game, um, and this is one that. I think it's funny because I really didn't even know this one was around. So I must have uh, just kind of skipped on this one without realizing it. But I love the art. And I love the Crystal Chronicles series. I did play the very first Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube. And I love it. I love the characters. I love the Moogle in the game. And so this one is uh, Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, Echoes of Time. And has the same great character lineup as... The first one on the GameCube, and funny enough too, we have um, the DS for this, like the 3DS that we got in Japan that just has this guy on it. So I, it was more like I recognized it from our DS than I did from just like the game. Funny enough, so yeah, I can't wait to test this one out. 
That's really cool. And then so far, yeah, I think um, all of those have been complete in box as well, which we, yeah. we always try to collect for that too. Um, you know, if we come across, a, you know, no manual, we can live with that until we get the manual, but we always try to get complete in box uh, for sure. Yeah, for uh, sure. <laughs> uh, all right, next up is one of my all-time favorites. This is a definitive edition um, remaster on Xbox One. And that is Dishonored Definitive. Uh, I kind of recently started collecting uh, the Definitive Editions and kind of the Complete Editions on Xbox One. Um, I kind of didn't do that until recently, but um, I figured since it has all the DLC and it's uh, the complete package, basically, um, I, I decided to go down that path. So this is, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, absolutely one of my favorite games. And uh, I play it. I still play it. Um, it's great. I think you played that game on a few different consoles too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Starting from the 360 up to uh, PC. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So let's see. This next one is actually one for our son. It was one that he wanted to have in the collection for so long. And it has been such an expensive game for a long yeah, time. Yeah. And I'm not saying it was like super dirt cheap, but it has definitely gone down. And that is... Super Smash Bros. Melee on the GameCube. This has been a game that we've been wanting for a long time in the collection. I just feel like GameCube games have been so overpriced for such a long time or in terrible condition too yeah. a lot of times. So this one came with the manual. I know this will sound funny, but the manual looks beautiful. <laughs> it's got like no tears. It's gorgeous. The disc is in fantastic condition. So yeah, I'm thrilled to have this one in our collection. He's excited to have it in our collection and be able to play the GameCube. He, and as well as many people think this is the best Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the cool thing as well, we did get the complete inbox in Japan as well. So, yes, but, we totally but this did. one is obviously much more expensive <laughs> and harder to get in a good condition. So, yeah, yeah, and you're absolutely right. I think with GameCube for a while, it, um, even the worst condition, they could over oversell it, overprice uh, yeah. those. So yeah. oh, it's great. I think that's a great addition. All right, next up for me is, um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this series for a long time. Uh, they did kind of a combo pack here, which, um, as I mentioned with uh, Dishonored, I'm trying to pick up combo packs, definitive editions. Uh, so the next one I picked up was uh, Saints Row, uh, Saints Row 4 Reelected and, and Get Out of Hell. So it's uh, two games that I've actually played, and uh, they're a bit more on the silly side. They're not like the old school Saints Row that I think most people know. I think with uh, four and then Gat out of hell, they really uh, stretch the imagination here. So, but it's uh, a good combo pack, and it's all on disc. There's no codes or anything like that. So this one is uh, pretty cool to have in the collection. Finally, that's good. It has no codes to worry about or being used. Everything's on the disc. Yeah, that's exactly. Great. And then it makes it easier to buy used because you don't have to worry about a used code. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this game, I will admit, I don't know a lot about this one, but I absolutely just like, I've seen this game so many times, obviously, and because it's an older one. And I love the holographic nature of the case, as well as I'm very familiar with the developer of this game. So this is Gun Griffin Blaze. Might be hard to kind of pick it up here, but it is like this kind of cool, like metallic kind of holographic look to mm -hmm. it some kind of crazy post-apocalyptic mechs going on here. It's working designs though, as we can see right here, they're really famous for doing their lunar series and just um, some, yeah, good quality games. This one looked definitely different. I'm not gonna say this is an RPG uh, by the <laughs> looks of it, but it's okay. I just thought it would be a really cool one for the series and I do like the mech games. I think they can be a lot of yeah, fun. So yeah. I thought, hey, cool, let's get it in the collection. Yeah, the mech games can kind of get up there in price too. You know, we see the armored core games, they uh, shot up in price. So yeah. The and that mech, one was you know, super reasonable price. So I just yeah. thought, why not? Yeah, no, I you thought know? that stood out the artwork for sure. Like yeah. you said, the kind of the holographic or, uh, yep. metallic -y. yeah. Okay, moving on to older consoles here for me at least. Um, I played this one on PC uh, when it first came out. Um, can't remember exactly when, it must have been late nine, uh, sorry, uh, early 2000s. Uh, so I played this one, I really enjoyed it. When I saw this in the store, I was um, 
definitely wanted to add this to our collection, and that is Still Life on Xbox. Um, so I think you play as, um, I remember the whole story here, you play as an investigator and you communicate with your uh, grandpa that had passed away or something like that. So it's a pretty cool story. Um, so uh, you have to uh, yeah, solve a murder and uh, all that stuff. So it is complete again, um, which is getting harder to find, uh, I would say, Xbox games that are complete and in good condition as well, because uh, especially the discs get very scratched up. And yeah. Uh, But yeah, I saw this in good condition. I had to pick it up. That's awesome. Okay, this one's kind of a funny one that we got. And again, our son saw this one and he thought we needed to add this to the collection. So without <laughs> any other information, here we go. It's the Bible game. There we have it. It's by Crave Entertainment as well, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and you can learn about the Bible while you have fun. It says fun for the whole family, up to four players. So, I yeah. mean, this is a party game. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't want this in their collection? It's amazing. I mean, we've got all the famous characters that we all know and love so much. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought, I don't know. I didn't even, I know there's a Bible game on the NES. I'll be honest, I didn't know there was a Bible game on the PS2 yeah. as well. So I And mean, it stood up for him, apparently. He's like, we got to get this. Oh, my gosh. He apparently knows the song that's in it. So <laughs> I I don't know. This one should be a fun one to boot up and see how it is. Yeah. Well, it's uh, very, definitely a very strange it's one. It's a but, unique yeah. one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Up next for me, uh, another one I played on PC. Um, and I don't even think I actually finished this game because my computer was just not a, uh, good enough to run it. Um, but it is a game I've been looking for for a while, and I actually found a good condition, good price uh, in store. Um, and that is Cold Fear. So very um, obvious that this is a Resident Evil clone. Um, but I did I do remember liking this one. You're on the ship, um, but the controls are very similar to Resident Evil. Um, and uh, yeah, I, this one is one I'm absolutely looking forward to playing again and just have to hook up the old Xbox. I was hoping this was backwards compatible, but it's not. Uh, but uh, it's in great shape. And um, I think this is one of the um, most sought after like horror games on Xbox as well. Um, so very happy about that. I wonder if that's like Ubisoft's take on a Resident Evil game. Maybe they're... Yeah, they kind of tend to copy a lot of things, yeah, if it's popular. So, um, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool, though. I've, I've only heard of that game, so I would love to see you play mm -hmm. it. Yep. Um, next off, I have some handheld games that I wanted to get. And the first one here is actually just another one of those games that I don't think I was super aware of. And I just thought, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I want to have this on the Nintendo DS. It is Guilty Gear, Dust Strikers here. And yeah, I mean, fighting games on the DS can be kind of funny, kind of interesting. And I mean, yeah, it says they have like touchscreen mini games here. There's like a four player wireless versus mode. Don't know who I'm playing against today, but <laughs> still super cool. I think the Guilty Gear series is a neat fighting series. So it's just, it's unique. It's cool. So complete, wanted to add it to the collection because we have a pretty good size DS collection. So yeah. And then that was one of the ones we picked up, uh, we were in one store and it was like uh, buy two, get one half off or something like that. And that yeah. was one of the games we grabbed. And, yeah, we were like, oh, OK, yeah. well, that makes it even more worth it. Yeah. No, so. I mean, the, so far, I think it's a good variety here, too. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right. Next one is I would say this is more something you had been looking for. But since yeah. it is on <laughs> you know, kind of the consoles that I play, uh -huh. um, I'll present it. But you can probably talk more about this one. Yeah. Uh, so for some reason, this one was getting harder and harder to find. We own it on the PlayStation 2, uh, but we had to pick this up, and it was in good shape, good price, and mm -hmm. that is SSX Tricky. On the Xbox. I love this cover, too. It's very, I know, it still uh, has yeah. that same kind of, like, metallic kind of background a bit to it. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, SSX Tricky, I, I mean, I love this game. It's so fantastical, snowboarding game. It's... I don't know. Some people would probably say it's definitely one of the best. I think SSX 3 was probably one of the ones I really got into. 
but Tricky is what introduced me to the series. And funny enough, I played Cool Borders on the PS1 as well. <laughs> and I like, I don't know, I like the snowboarding games. I think they're yeah. fun. And yeah. But this one just took it up a whole other level with the crazy tricks and the outfits and the like trails that you're going on. Awesome. Yeah, no, I can't wait to check it out. I haven't played any SSX games, so that would be exciting. This one I, I've known about. I've never played it. I've never owned it. And it's older, so it's kind of fun. So it is Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake. And I, I mean, I've seen gameplay for this game. I don't know why I never bought this one. And it's, she's, she was actually became kind of like a icon, you know, like character for Sony. And she's in a couple other games. So this one just like, I don't know, we saw this. It was under $10. And I thought, I want to get this yeah, one. Yeah, we definitely came across some, uh, some uh, interesting titles for sure that I hadn't heard about. So I love, and I love the tagline on the back too. Get a fat slice of carnage with a cherry on top. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So I, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this one. This one looks great. Yeah, and PSP is good to collect for right now too. So yeah, I, think I it's felt still like pretty affordable. And uh, if you come across a game store that has a good inventory, yeah. you will probably get good prices on that. That's what surprised me. We found, um, yeah, some PSP games at some decent prices and like good condition. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. If you, if, because if you go to Japan, you know, you have uh, PSPs and PS Vita games everywhere. So, yeah. you know, it's never mm -hmm. going to be a problem nope. finding. They hear yes. Uh, okay. Now moving on to, as you know, my favorite console, which I still have a ton of uh, stuff to collect for. Not too many, though. We have a pretty big collection still. Um, but I wanted to look for, again, more compilation type uh, um, uh, things on disc. So this one is Xbox Live Arcade Unplugged, which it has, um, let's see how many games it has several here. several games, right? I think it has at least six games. So what's good about this, do they have uh, demos on here? And so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it has uh, Bejeweled, Geometry Wars, Wick. Uh, Texas Hold'em, Outpost, uh, Coloki X, and a hardwood uh, backgammon. Uh, so yeah, it's always good, you know, especially with the marketplace closing uh, or shutting down at the end of uh, July. Uh, these kind of collections are always good to have. Uh, and, and I don't know if I opened it, but I got like a one Woo! month uh, unused code in here. So that's kind of funny. You can tell it's old too. It has like that <laughs> original kind of yeah color scheme yeah. going on. Yeah. yeah. So this one uh, was pretty cheap. I think I paid like five dollars for this one. So a awesome. uh, really good deal. Yep. It's really funny when you say those game names. I played several of those back when they first came on the console. Yeah. And I think most people did, yeah. and then it's like feedy, feeding <laughs> frenzy, and yeah. yeah, exactly. I remember Outpost Coloki. I'm gonna have to see that game again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one was another. Fantastic PSP game that we I think we saw it under the glass cabinet and it was like but it was still like under $15 or something like that and I didn't actually believe it because it's like it's even shrink wrapped so it's Loco Roco we don't own this yet and it's a classic obviously for the PSP and so super cute game art I am a sucker for cute stuff and this game is adorable so I can't really open it because it's shrink wrap. I thought that was awesome. I mean, I can open it later when I want to play mm, it, but yeah. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm still savoring the brand newness of this like older game. Love that. Yeah. No, it's always fun to find uh, older games that are still new. In yeah. Sense, so, You're yeah. the first one to break it yeah. open. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't believe it was just in, in their glass cabinet kind of thing. And you know, I think it was like $10 yeah. or $12. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty, uh, pretty good price. Yeah. All right, next up, I have another collection of games. Uh, I have the other um, collection from Square Enix, uh, the Ultimate Stealth Triple Pack, which is very recommended, uh, three really good games. Uh, but the one I picked up was the Ultimate Action Triple Pack, which has Just Cause 2, Sleeping Dogs, and the Tomb Raider reboot. Uh, this oh, one is, all these are probably in my uh, top... Um, 360 games uh, of all time. They are all really good. I feel like that's when Square Enix was, uh, I guess, making more mainstream games, or they, they had all these. Out, yeah, though. yeah. They mm -hmm. had all these companies, and that's when I really liked them. And now they sold them all, and um, it's a yeah. huge bummer. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And they have their own discs too, so they are actually uh, different than the regular discs. There's no like platinum hits or anything. They actually are an orange color with uh, each disc in there. So. 
that is pretty awesome. No manual for this one though, but um, definitely I've been looking for this one uh, for a while. So that's, that's cool. Awesome. Next one goes with the last one that I picked up. And it was just one of those funny things that we happened to go to another like brick and mortar store and we saw Loco Roco 2. And I said, well, obviously we need to get this one because we just got Loco Roco the first one. So this is awesome. We're going to tilt, roll and bounce. So this one is not brand new. Oh, but I love when they have these old little mm -hmm. slips in here. Is like, it the PS3, the fat one? It's the fat one with like the Four USB, USB ports. ports on it. That's awesome. We've yeah. got the instruction manual in here. I mean, I love the PSP cases that are clear with yeah. the artwork and everything. So I, they're great. Great game. Love collecting for it. Fun to find them, yeah. especially at reasonable prices. Yeah. All right, next for me, uh, this is, I have not uh, seen a lot of gameplay, but it looks like a racing game, uh, but also kind of difficult to find. Um, I have definitely not seen it very much in stores, uh, and that is uh, Fuel uh, by Codemasters. Um, so like I said, I don't usually play a lot of racing games, but I, uh, I, I do like the collecting case. I um, want to play them. They're a little bit harder to find for some reason. Uh, it is complete as well. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one, I tell my wife all the time, the spine. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's like upside down. I'm confused. So I like, I don't like having this in the collection with the spine, like all weird. But uh, nonetheless, I mean, this is a, um, for me at least, I haven't been able to come across this. So when I saw it, um, I had to get it. So, yep. Yeah. That's great. We have another PSP game. I went PSP crazy last month, okay? <laughs> I got excited. There are reasonable prices. And it's a uh, first series we talked about earlier in this game, that, uh, in this video that we got. And that is a Final Fantasy, it's Dissidia. It's the first one. And the one, the reason I was drawn to this is because of the flip cover. And the flip cover is in like perfect shape. So I just felt like it was one of those ones I couldn't pass up on. I think still this is like under $15. It was reasonable price and like good condition. I haven't played the Dissidia. We can get rid of that though. But um, it's, yeah, they're good games. Oh, it has like a double cover. Reversible, yeah. Yeah, cover. reversible cover That's as cool. well. That's cool as well. That so. actually probably looks cooler than the one you currently have. So we'll yeah. have to flip it sometime and yeah. see. Yeah, the black cover yeah. or you can have the white cover. So very cool. Yeah. Maybe it's different characters too. Nice discovery just yes, during the the recording yeah there yeah no it's cool so yeah these are fun you know there's a lot of dissidia games that are still being released today on new consoles so happy to have this the first you know it's like the first one on and the I, PSP. I don't think i've seen a lot of slip covers on no. the psp so that's uh i don't know if that's rare to see but or yeah. if everyone just threw them away but i don't think i've seen a lot of uh, slip covers no it's really pretty art yeah. right here too i mean like the original final fantasy guys art so no love it cool yeah. All right. Next for me, continuing with uh, 360 um, and what you mentioned earlier about uh, GameStop. Yeah. This was my GameStop purchase yeah. of that <laughs> same day when you uh, did Mario Party 10. Yeah. And I remember the GameStop employee was like, are you sure you want to get this one? She was trying to sell me Black Ops 6. Yes. And I was like, no, I'm absolutely fine with this one. I'm dead set on this guy. <laughs> and that was Cars Made her National. <laughs> which I didn't have in the collection. But uh, funny thing about this is that um, this, I think I paid like $6 and this goes for in the 20 plus dollar range. So yeah. I actually got a great deal on this. Um, and you don't really see, you do still see 360 games and PS3 um, and even Wii, you know, obviously yeah. Mario Party, um, but you don't see a lot of them. And, uh, but this one they thankfully had out. So mm -hmm. I got a um, pretty good deal for it and uh, it's complete. So. Always happy to add uh, these uh, Disney Pixar games to a collection. <laughs> I mean, that's so similar to Call of Duty. It's no wonder she. Yeah, really she's like, to. "Are you sure you don't want to be in the current gen?" And I was like, "You're like, no, no definitely. No, no, I'm good. We're retro. Yeah, <laughs> retro-ish. Yeah, I'm into those Disney ca cars." Games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's our last PSP game that we got last uh, last month, and this is one of those ones I thought we had this, and then. Thankfully, we have our app that we can check and I can make sure that we didn't have this one. So it is Metal Gear Portable Ops. And we own pretty much all the Metal Gears, I would say. 
So I'm trying to at least because I yeah. love stealth games. So yeah, no, I mean this is fantastic. So um, I I do think we have the Japanese version of this. Yes, and I think that's what threw us off. And so when we saw this, I was like, wait, we don't have that one. So no, it's complete. It's in great shape and everything. So no, happy to have uh, Metal Gear games on any console and PSPs. Again, I love it. Just love the cases and everything. I still would love to have that uh, special P uh, PSP. The, oh my gosh, I think yeah. it's the Peace Walker. Yes, the Peace Walker uh, that edition. That one is yeah. pretty awesome because mm -hmm. we, we bought someone's uh, small collection one time. Yeah. And then we got like bits and pieces of that yeah, collection. Yeah, we had like the bandana. The and, bandana. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was so strange. And we were like, what is this from? It's from the Peace Walker yeah. edition. So, so we had to look yeah. that up because we couldn't even find it anywhere. So, no. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, a um, couple more 360 here. Uh, this one completed our collection for <laughs> this series, which uh, I know you're a fan of the show. <laughs> I, um, I have not watched much of it, but I oh, think yeah. I'll, I'll have to watch this with you. You got to get started. Yes, and that is SpongeBob's Truth or Square. Um, so I do own this digitally through uh, uh, backwards compatible uh, copy that I have, so you can play this on uh, the newer consoles. But... For some reason, this one was getting harder to find, at least around us. Um, but I had the other ones, and <laughs> once I picked up the other ones, uh, that's all I could come across for some reason. But <laughs> when I finally saw this, um, um, I got a good, good deal for it, too. A sticker price was actually higher than what they sold it for, so they got I got an extra $5 off. So Ooh. it is complete. It has two manuals for some reason, one... I think it's English and the other one is French. Oh, funny. Yeah. So they do that sometimes. Um, I don't know if it, that's just like a Canadian release where they have two, but uh, pretty cool. I, I love this cover too. Just yellow, just yeah. zoomed in SpongeBob. So yeah. And let us know in the comments if you do know why there's two manuals in some of these games. Yeah. I would love to know why. I know we've ran across that. I do think it's more in Canada when we've ran across that, but it's funny. How yeah. Sometimes you just have those double manuals. Um, this last one here is a series that near and dear to my heart. I love these games and happy to collect. I want to get all of them eventually. Some of them are more expensive than others. I felt like this one was a pretty reasonable price. So this is Rune Factory, Tides of Destiny. And these are, these are, games are great and they have such a good variation. I think I, I love the handheld versions, like the 3DS games of this, um, probably the best but you know they're just they're fun games they give you a lot of variety you've got fighting you've got farming you've got some beautiful art and character you know fun stories it yeah it's a great series love it this one's a little bit more unique and um i'd like to show the gameplay of this one probably sometime yeah because it was just it was fun fun game to play yeah okay final one and this is also one that sort of completes the series uh, on the 360 for us, you know, for me, I've been looking for this one. I, I don't know what it is. I've never been able to find a good copy. It almost looks like it was dunked in the toilet or someone chewed on it. Like it just, it never, um, never was in good shape. Uh, and that is Bionicle Heroes for the 360. Uh, they have this one in the, on the original Xbox as well, uh, but I want it on the 360 because that's what I primarily collect for and play. Um, so this one was cool to finally find. Same store as uh, SpongeBob and uh, complete and in good shape for once. So I couldn't uh, couldn't pass up and I got a good deal on this too. So Must have been some kids that finally took care of their games and then traded them in. Yes, yes. Or an adult <laughs> that just had it in a yeah. box and never touched it again. You know? So yeah, exactly. that's always good. Awesome. Well, well, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we appreciate it. And if you have any comments for us about any games that you saw in our video, please leave those below. And comment, like, subscribe. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Yep.